Today in our 2011 Nissan Armada, we're going to be installing the Firestone Colorite Air Helper Springs, part number F4150. Now if you're looking at getting a set of airbags, these are some of the benefits you can get. Now if you have a trailer or a load on your vehicle without airbags, it's going to sag the back end, lifting up the front, so your headlights won't be aimed properly. It'll also reduce braking performance and cause steering stability issues. Airbags will help level out your vehicle, returning your headlights to the proper aim, return that steering and braking performance to the factory, and also help level it out so it looks good going down the road. They'll also provide a little bit more comfort and cushion while your vehicle's loaded up. These airbags are going to install directly into your existing coil springs. It's made of an elastic polyurethane, so it's going to be pliable and easy to install inside your coil spring. It operates between 5 and 35 psi to adjust the level of your vehicle depending on your load. Now when comparing these to other suspension enhancements for our Armada on our website, this is going to be the most adjustable and best ride quality, as the other ones we offer are only a jounce style, so it'll be a solid rubber bumper that has no adjustment and won't provide as much cushion. We're going to give you a few measurements before we install our springs so you can see how they affect the vehicle. With the vehicle unloaded and its factory suspension, it measures about 35 and 3 quarter inches. And now to simulate a loaded trailer or cargo carrier, we've got some five gallon buckets fully loaded with sand. So it's adding a bunch of weight to the back of the vehicle. Let's see how it affected our ride height. And that dropped us down to about 34 and three quarter inches. So we're about an inch lower in the back than what we were. Now what this means is loading down the back, it's gonna put more weight on the back of your vehicle, which is gonna lift up on the front. So it's gonna have an adverse effect on your steering and handling. It's gonna feel a little bit squirrelier on the road and it's going to impede your braking performance. Now we're going to take it out on our road course and see how the weighted down suspension is going to respond. Now we're going to take it over some uneven speed bumps. This can simulate hitting some potholes. Now we're taking it over our straight speed bumps. This can simulate pulling in and out of a driveway. Now we're going to come into our slalom. This is going to simulate evasive maneuvers and turning. Now with our airbags set at about 32 PSI and weight back on, we're at about 35 and 3 quarter inches. So we're right back to our factory ride height when loaded up. This is going to return that lost steering stability and braking performance that we had before. To start your installation, you're going to need to collapse the cylinder. To collapse it, you can use a little piece of airline or you could cut a small piece off of the airline that's provided in the kit. Push it in the quick connect fitting, make sure it's fully all the way down. Collapse it and roll it up. This will get all the air out of it, making it easier to install inside your coil spring. Once you've got it collapsed, take the small plug provided in the kit and push it in the end of the hose. This will prevent air from refilling up the cylinder. Here we're back at our coil spring. We're going to take our collapsed cylinder and in the lowest opening, we're going to push it inside the, the coil spring. Now, if you're having difficulty getting it inside the coil spring, you can use a blunt object that has no sharp edges to help push it in there. A half inch extension works really well for this. Just continue to work it up in there. Sometimes it helps to twist it back and forth. Make sure you're getting over any lips that's hanging you up. And just keep working it up. Push your airline hose down and around inside your coil spring and have it poke out the bottom. Once you've got it in there, then you can release the vacuum on it by pulling the plug out. And this will let the airbag fill back up. And once it's filled up, it's fully in place. Now to remove the small hose that we inserted into the airbag, you simply push in on the ring at the bottom of the airbag, push it upwards, and that will release the hose from the fitting. And you just pull downwards. Now you repeat this same process on the other side. The next step will be to run your airline. Now typically you would run your airline into the bumper and there'll be two fittings provided in the kit, one for the driver's side and one for the passenger side. So this way you can air them up individually to set it as you need. Our customers decided that they want to use a union that will bring both airlines together so they only have to fill up one and this way they'll both air up equally on both sides. He also doesn't want his to be placed inside the bumper. So we're going to be using a long bracket to extend down from his hitch so that way we won't have to drill into his bumper. It'll be removable but still accessible. 
Cut the airline nose in half so you have an equal amount to run from both the left and right side back to the fittings. You want to use a hose cutting tool to make sure that it's cut evenly. If it's cut at an angle, it may not seal properly inside the quick connect fittings. Included in the kit is a piece of braided shielding. Slide that over the end of your hose. Then push it into the quick connect fitting. Make sure that you get it all the way seated. This will ensure you'll have no leaks. Run your hose to the back where your fitting is. You want to make sure you avoid any moving components, such as your suspension, and anything excessively hot, such as your exhaust, that may potentially damage the hose and cause a leak. It's best to follow factory wiring whenever possible, because it's already routed to avoid those components. And as you can see here, we just followed our factory wiring back. We're going to get out any slack. Now, if your vehicle's on the ground when you're running this hose, you may want to leave some slack in it. Here we've got our vehicle lifted in the air, so our suspension is already at its full travel. Since we're going to be mounting ours on a long bracket, we're going to follow down the, the front of the hitch here, over to where we're going to place our bracket. Now that we've got our hose run back to our mounting location, we're going to install our union. To install the union, it works just like your airbag did. You simply push the hose into the fitting, making sure it's fully seated. Now I'm coiling up the excess hose. It's always a good idea to have just a little bit of excess hose left over. So in case there was an air leak, something happened, your union fitting starts to leak, you can cut off your end and then reinstall it. Next we'll be putting on our bracket. You want to slide the clamp provided with the bracket through the opening in the, at the top where the angle is. Run it up around your hitch. Here we do want to make sure that we're running it underneath the hose that we routed so that way we're not pinching the hose and bring it all the way around. Then we'll slide our bracket up into the location we want it, feed the clamp back through, and click it down. Now you just need to tighten your bracket down using an 8mm socket. Now the long bracket we're using doesn't have a hole large enough for the fill fitting. We're going to drill out a hole using a 5 16 drill bit. Take a flat washer, slide it over the end of your air inlet, slide it through the bracket, slide on another flat washer, and then use the nut provided and tighten it down. You'll tighten it using two 12 millimeter wrenches, one to hold the fitting and the other to tighten the nut. Now you don't want to go real tight on these because this type of metal is not that crazy strong, so you don't want to strip it out just so it's snug and doesn't move around. Now we can take the small piece of hose we used earlier to deflate our airbags to connect our union to our fill fitting. Now that everything's installed, let's check to make sure that there's no leaks. Go ahead and put a little bit of air into it. These bags are rated between five and 35 PSI, so make sure not to exceed its maximum rating. As you can see there, we're right at about 35 PSI, so now we can check for leaks. You want to spray all your fittings and quick connect ends and inspect for bubbles. Now in using soapy water, there will be some bubbles, but you're looking at creation of new bubbles. You also want to check out your airbag fittings. No leaks were found with it inflated at its maximum pressure, so now we're going to lower it down and check it out. And that completes our installation of the Firestone Coil Right Air Helper Springs on our 2011 Nissan Armada. Thanks for watching. Click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com and leave a comment if you have any questions.